Meet Aquila 160, Team USDTU's innovative solution focused on agility and robustness. Aquila has been modified and designed to successfully attempt and complete all the presented AUESI SUS tasks while following the set guidelines. Anand Mohan Singh, Team Captain and FM Technician, Flight Director and Point of Contact. Saransh Agarwal, Team Vice Captain and Avionics Technician, Communication System Lead and Safety Pilot. Shubhadeep Shiv Aditya, Team Vice Captain and Airframes Head, Mechanical System Lead and Backup Safety Pilot. Tushar Singh, Avionics Head, Electronic System Lead and GCS Operator. Anunay, Software Head, Software and Imaging Lead and GCS Operator. Vayam Jain, Avionics Technician, Rover Subsystem Lead. Aquila, made of carbon fiber, has a maximum takeoff weight of 22 kilograms or 48.5 pounds and boasts a top speed of 14 meter per second or 28 knots. It has six highly durable carbon fiber arms and has a total wingspan of 1.6 meters or 5.34 feet. Aquila features a central hub that houses the batteries and electric drive that provide power to the motors. This hub helps in keeping the powering system secure and less susceptible to changes in external conditions. A custom 3D printed avionics box helps keep the various components secure. Aquila packs a powerful onboard system com- consisting of a Pixar Cube Black as the flight controller along with two Here2 GPS modules and a Jetson Nano 2.0 as the onboard computer along with various other supporting modules. A servo attached on a 3D printed mount engages a disc braking mechanism to achieve a power descent for a successful and accurate UGV drop focused on safety and minimizing the time. This year the team has built an ingenious in-house rover supporting a 3D printed mount housing a Raspberry Pi OBC, Saber 212X2 motor driver, Pixar Cube Black and a Here2 GPS. A servo control latch is used to detach the UGV from the UAV. This year the team switched from a Python based GUI to a web based GUI that is connected to the interop server and shares telemetry data with the same. It constantly displays various mission parameters such as the state and position information of the UAS and UGV, cropped images from ODLC and a map marking the waypoints and obstacles. This custom GUI is being used along with map proxy for extra control and data redundancy. Telemetry is downloaded and uploaded via a data pipeline at a rate of 5 Hz. A surplus of safety features such as arming disarming and mode switches have been integrated into the GUI. Multipoint communication between the UAS, UGV and GCS is achieved by the use of bullets operating at 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi. The team switched from RFDs to bullets as they provide better range and higher accuracy. To improve range, the antenna is mounted on a movable tripod and is pointed towards the UAS throughout the mission. The team tested multiple antennas and finalized the one which provided a range of 5 km as per the mission requirements. The team's developmental testing process was an iterative process that included ground testing and simulation testing followed by testing on a smaller and lighter tarot system before finally being integrated and tested at full scale. 750 minutes of autonomous flight were achieved with 14 manual takeovers and a total of 55 flights were conducted. An ASR algorithm was modified to suit the team's needs by reducing computational cost and is used to create and optimize a path to achieve waypoint navigation and obstacle avoidance. Various randomized waypoints and obstacles were generated and the code was tuned until an ideal path was created for each case. The algorithm was tested extensively on simulation in the loop followed by a smaller and lighter tarot system before finally being integrated into the main Aquila 160. 355 waypoints were attempted and 342 were achieved with an average distance accuracy of 2 meters or 6 feet and 95 obstacles were avoided with a success rate of 98%. A GitHub Git to be camera is the primary imaging mechanism for ODLC and mapping. The team created custom shape and alphanumeric data sets in accordance with the SUS guidelines and 13 flights were conducted. and 100000 frames were collected to tune and calibrate the camera to obtain the most ideal image 
Shapes on the ground are detected using a modified YOLO algorithm trained on a data set of 18,000 images. Colors, alphanumeric class, and orientation are classified using a custom CNN trained on a collective sum of 280,000 images and validated on 98,000 images. The following accuracy percentages were obtained. During initial testing to detect color, an HSV color space was used with 39% accuracy. To improve upon the existing system, the team switched to a CMYK color space giving 76% accurate results. Six flights were conducted to test localization and an average accuracy of 7 meter or 23 feet was achieved. A self-made mapping algorithm was tested on both the onboard computer and the GCS and the maps were compared. The team found that the maps generated on the GCS were of better quality and stitched in less time as compared to the OBC. The team went forward with sending the frames from the UAS to the GCS and stitched the map on the GCS. The algorithm was tested on a mapping area of 1200 cross 2150 feet on various terrains and at multiple angles. Seven maps were generated with four being excellent, one being satisfactory and two being discarded. The airdrop mechanism is a simple yet efficient power descent mechanism. Until the desired drop location is reached, the UGV is attached to the UAV base via a latch. When the target drop location is reached, the latch disengages and the UGV descends as a nylon fishing cord unspools under the weight of the UGV. An actuator triggered disc brake like mechanism acts as the control mechanism and slows down the rotation of the spool and the drop as and when required. This method of controlled descent makes the payload less susceptible to changes in wind speed and a high degree of accuracy in the drop location is obtained. The drop mechanism was tested 21 times with successful results being obtained 17 times with an average distance accuracy of 5 feet. The average descent time from 26 meters was 85 seconds which equates to an average descent rate of 1 feet per second. The control descent mechanism was initially tested as an isolated system from a height of 33 feet. High amounts of tension in the string was observed and the team decided to switch from a coaxial nylon thread to a monocot nylon thread. During the testing phase, the UGV was covered with foam to prevent breakage in case of a mishap. The timing of the actuators was optimized to reduce jerks and oscillations during the descent. This year for the UGV, the team decided to move forward with a two-wheel differential drive using a Sabre to 12x2 motor driver for greater freedom of movement. The UGV has driven over 1850 feet and has been tested on five terrains, grassy, muddy, smooth, concrete and tired surfaces. The tracks of the UGV are covered with rubber and plastic to increase its traction and shock absorption capabilities. After all the systems were individually tested, they were integrated and 18 full mission flights were conducted, of which 10 were successful in all aspects, 6 were partially successful and 2 were unsuccessful. Various dummy missions were created keeping in mind the SUAS tasks and were carried out in an area of 70,000 square meters or 756,000 square feet. During these flights, the tasks were carried out in multiple different orders until the order of tasks that is the most power efficient and consumes the least amount of time was found. To achieve maximum operational excellence, the team members fine-tuned their flight roles and tasks. The following full mission average scores were achieved based on the rubrics provided by the competition. Timeline score 72.4% Autonomous flight score 96.08% Obstacle Avoidance Score 92.38% ODLC Score 75.92% Mapping Score 77.02% Air Delivery Score 88.78% Operational Excellence Score 86.88% Thus a final mission score of 84.2% was achieved.